Hey, this is Jason from JHE's Log Furniture Place. Come visit us online at logfurnitureplace.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the production of a Cedar Lake flat top spindle log bed. We're going to skip the hand peeling portion of the building process and move right into the actual construction of the bed. And here we see Tom as he is setting up the flat top of the bed. He's going to be drilling out the mortises for the tenons of the spindles. After the first hole is drilled, it is then checked for accuracy to make sure the depth and everything is correct. And here we can see the drill uh, getting adjusted so that the uh, correct depth is established for the drilling. Multiple measurements are taken throughout the whole process to ensure that everything is accurate uh, for easy assembly. Tops are drilled, let's move over to the legs. Uh, we're going to speed this portion up. But the legs are hand peeled and then they're all gone over with a palm sander to make sure that all of the rough spots, uh, anything that may snag, is smoothed out and cleaned up. Once the palm sanding is done, it's gone over by hand, uh, touching each portion of the log to make sure that it is totally smooth and ready for the next step of production. And here are the finished legs. You can see how there's still a lot of character in the logs, but they're much smoother. Uh, no sharp edges where the branches used to be. last step in the production process is drilling the holes in the legs for the side rails and for the horizontal logs of the headboard and footboard. Each hole is carefully drilled and then checked and double checked to make sure that it was drilled correctly and evenly.
Now we move back to the flat tops that were drilled and the spindles are then inserted. I don't know. I'm getting now. We'll go ahead and speed this part of the video up uh, as all this being done is the spindles are being inserted and then you can see Tom as he lines them up so the most unique characteristics will be on the outside of the bed. Once all the spindles are in, then the bottom horizontal rail is attached. Uh, it has to be lined up on each spindle, and then it'll be tapped down and secured. As you can see, this is a time-consuming and uh, I wouldn't say exactly fun job of lining all the little pegs up and pounding them in. Uh, you can rest assured that this will be done for you when you receive the bed. Uh, all the headboards and footboards are fully assembled. So the log is on, the last few taps will be made, and everything will be double checked, measured, to make sure that everything is uh, exactly the way it should be for the next step. The next step is attaching the legs to the headboard and footboard. First leg goes on pretty smoothly, putting the opposite side of the leg on. It's always a little bit more difficult. Uh, everything's lined up perfect on the opposite end, and that usually throws the second end out of whack. So great care is taken in getting everything lined up so the leg sits flush with the flat top of the bed. Um, you can see Tom here works on it for quite a bit just to get it perfect. legs will come attached to the headboards and footboards so you won't have to worry about assembling it yourself. Once the legs are attached, the headboards and footboards are then carried over and as you'll see in the next step, the bed will be dry assembled to ensure that everything was made correctly. For dry assembly, the side rails are attached to the headboard and footboard. Uh, measurements are then taken between the side rails to determine the exact size of the support rails for the mattress and box springs. And after those parts are cut and the bed is totally assembled. It will then be unassembled and will go in for finishing. Once all four coats of finish are applied, it is then packaged up, palletized, and shipped out. Hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes look at the making of our Cedar Lake flat top spindle bed. Come visit us at logfurnitureplace.com and let the next bed that we make be yours.